morning, afternoon, people. So back at the kitchen garden today, over the allotment. Another job for you. Now if you watched the video that was released day before yesterday, you would have seen me fit this door to the poly tunnel. Now you notice that I couldn't find the hinges. Well, I've got some hinges now, I fitted those. That was yesterday I did this job. I've dug some hinges out, fitted those today. Next job then, we're gonna put in a rain catchment system. Let's give you a quick look at the job I did yesterday and a quick look at what I've got to uh, put this catchment, uh, rain catchment system in. Teddy's got his coat on because it's about four degrees today. Yesterday it was like one degree, but it actually feels colder today. So there's the poly tunnel door that we fitted yesterday. Still got to tidy this up a bit. So, I've got this length of gutter in. I found fly tipped. And these lengths of gutter in that I found fly tipped. So I'm gonna use a couple of bits of this and that one long length I've got in there and then put a rain catchment system on this. So my initial idea was to put the gutter in down this side and use that post as support. But I had to think about it and I've decided I'm going to put it along this edge. So what I can do is I can have the water butt sticking out of the edge of the polyton slightly to make sure the gut ring goes down into it. So I'll show you that now. So I've got these two water butts. This one's got a bit of water in. This one's got none. So what my plan is, is to take this pallet, this pallet, zip it down to about this width, put it on bricks and put it here. Just so that this water butt is kind of in this position with the gut ring coming down into it. So we'll get on with that first. That pallet there, what I've done, I've left these bricks half out so I could put another bit there if I do get a third water container. It hasn't. So I'm going to have to fashion one. First of all, let's check if we can get a watering can underneath there. If not, I have to raise it up a bit more, a couple more bricks. Yep, that's fine. That'll do. So Teddy's got his coat off now because it's warmed up a bit. Sun's out. So what I've done is this guttering. I've used a bit of no more nails, but there's no more nails there, a bit of wood at the bottom, put a screw through. I've also got an end piece that I haven't attached yet. What I want to try and do is get this in place, get it up, and then I'll attach the end piece. So let's get on with that.
and that actually sits there fine. So instead of attaching a bit of gut ring, I'll just put, put the end cap on that end. What I need now is a support for the middle. Post in support. Cut another piece of wood to screw to support the gutter underneath. in there. And then one screw through the gutter in. Okay, so there's my support in the centre screw through there I move this over just to screw through there and then also raise this up a little bit and put a support across there because I want it to keep that steep-ish angle. So now we need to wait for the water to run into the gutter in. For that, I'm going to use tape. So I'm going to tape along that edge from that to the polytunnel to get the water to run off the polytunnel into the gutter in. So we'll get on with that now. This bit here is the bit that I think is going to be the awkward part. See, there's a, bit of a, there's a bit of a gap between the polytunnel and the gutter. Okay, so what I'm about to do is let's get an off cut of the poly from when I did that door yesterday and use that to get it to join. I'm gonna find the bit just to bridge that gap and the rest of it should be okay. Some spots. I just have to double up on the tape. Just make sure it reaches like that. Now this is nice, really strong tape. So it should be fine. Do it in segments instead of one long length just to make it a bit easier.
definitely made it easier doing it in segments rather than trying to do one long bit of tape. Okay, so there we go. So what I've done is I've tripled up on the tape there. So I've got our socks there all the way along, support in the middle, support at that end. And at this end it's just resting on the water butt. But I put a screw through there to hold it in place. Next job going to hook these two together. So this piece of pipe here. I've got some silicon. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole in there, link them together, seal it with silicone, and then we'll be good. Easy as that. So that's pipe through, seal with silicon. So when this one's full, it'll fill this one. I'm then going to try and get a third. I will get a third at some point, put another bit of pallet wood there and hook a third one there. I believe they're 210 litres, so at the moment that's 420. It'll take me to 630. Now about four or five days ago we had torrential rain, bad flooding all over the place and this system wasn't up, which is just sod's law. It's got this up now, we're not expecting rain now, I've looked for at least a week. I've looked a week ahead, there's no rain forecast, it's just frost. Um, otherwise, I would have, if it had rained tonight, I would have waited and seen how much water we'd collect in the night. But in later videos, I'll give you an update and tell you how efficient it is, how much water we've collected with just that amount of poly roof. Um, so if you like that video, give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, more projects around the plot and all the stuff we're growing next season, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.